Hey everybody, this is my first ever live video. I'm here with Brianne who wanted to pop over and see how foils work. Um, so bear with me and hopefully this works. So, where should we start, Brianne? Um, So, I think the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to explain the different kinds of foils that are out there. Um, most of you guys probably have seen foils that are in... Um, I can help you that's not showing on there. Oh, it's behind. There's a little bit of a delay. So, I think it's, I think it's working. It's just behind. So most of you guys have seen foils in um, the little jars. Um, we also have them in packages and it's the same kind of foil. And then another kind of foil that we have at Mosaic is called casting foils and pigment foils. And what the difference is between what I call regular transfer foils and casting foils is the thickness of them. So I'll just show you what a regular um, piece of foil looks like and feels like, and you can feel that, um, how thick it is. And then I'll show you what a piece of casting foil feels like. And you can see the difference. So this is the turquoise casting foil. So feel that and you and you can feel the difference. Mm -hmm. One's a little bit thicker, one's a little bit um, thinner. And for most foil designs, it's not going to make any difference whether you use um, this kind or the thin casting foil. And I'll show you where it does make a difference. When you're doing your really fine detail, um, like say for example, um, this one, um, or lines like this, that's where it comes, it makes a difference. So normally it doesn't um, make any difference until then. And then the other foil we have is called a pigment foil. And those are matte. And they're about the same thickness as the, um, the casting foils but they give a matte um, look and shiny side up and then the, the dull side goes down when you're putting it on. And that gives you a look like this one. So you can see that the colors are on there and um, they're a little bit different. So one common mistake that girls make, and if you've done this, don't feel stupid because there's so many nail techs that have done it. When they go to use the transfer foil, they go like this. And they wonder why it's not coming off. You have to go this way. So brown down and the pretty side goes up. And that's what's going to transfer onto the nail. So if you've done that, don't feel dumb because you're not the first one. Um, if the back of your foil, some of the foils have a brown backing. Um, if it starts getting dirty with the um, dispersion layer, what you can do is just take a wipe with some alcohol-based um, cleansing and just wipe the back off and just let it dry and it'll be good, good to go. So I just wipe some of that brown stuff off and it'll be good to, to use again. Um, so hopefully I've explained the difference in the foils, um, the different kinds of foils there are. So now I'm just going to explain the difference between foil gel and regular black gel paint. And this is just our new, um, the new um, label. Black foil gel is a little bit thicker and a little bit stickier than black gel paint. 
Um, so what you want your foil to stick to is the dispersion layer. Um, can you give me a favor and just reach and grab that lamp and just turn it sideways on there? Yeah, there we go. So if you're doing a full foil nail, you can use foil gel for it. You can use gel paint as well, or you can use UV lac, or it'll even stick to crystal builder gel. A lot of girls have problems with foil not working. Mm -hmm. um, they're using LED lamps. So if you have an LED lamp, you might be over curing your foil gel or whatever you're trying to stick, stick it to. You need to have that dispersion layer. Um, I still use the traditional standard UV lamp and it cures it perfectly. If you are using LED, um, our recommended time for foil gel with LED I think is 45 seconds I think is what it is. I'll have to look that up for you guys and I'll post that after. Um, and that's based on a 48 watt LED lamp. So if your lamp is stronger, it'll be less time. If your lamp is weaker, it'll be more time. So the first thing I want to show you is how foil gel, how you can use it using a gel polish. Now, I don't know if it's going to work on every brand of gel polish. It may, it may not. It depends on what the dispersion layer is like. So I'm going to paint on a layer of gel polish. And this is uh, bubblegum. Bubblegum Mosaic UV Lac. And I'm going to cure that for two minutes. So the next one I'm going to do is I'm going to paint it on or try and stick foil to our gel paint fuchsia and again it may stick to other brands I don't know um, it will stick to our gel paints the only gel paint it will not stick to is if there is a glitter or a shimmer in the gel paint then it won't stick so gel paint is just a one minute cure. Let me just stick that one to the lab and they should be done around the same time. So just to show you, I'll paint a stick with um, orchid metal. It's the shimmer and you'll see how um, it doesn't quite stick to it. It's a really gorgeous popular color. Any questions? No? I'm good. It's so quiet. <laughs> um, so, I'll use this foil gel in just a few minutes. Here's just some different ideas that you can mm -hmm. do um, foil. These are all, all have foil in them. Feel free to in the camera view. Side of the side. Okay, so I have my sticks here. So the first one that I'm going to do is just UV lac gel polish. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some of the white pigment foil on this one. Oh, I have a tiny little bit right there. Is that white? I decided to 
organize all my foils into um, a little album. So this is the white pigment foil. And all I'm going to do, if you want it solid, you can press really hard. If you want it in spots, you can press it really lightly. So I just want it actually on half the nail. So I'm going to use the line of the foil. And I'm just going to put it um, down the half. And you just press and pull. So it's kind of like um, when you're waxing your legs and you put the, the cloth on and you press it down and then you just pull really pull really fast on it. Um, what's really cool about the white pigment foil is if you press really lightly, it'll uh, leave your thumbprint. So that's um, just on half. So another cool thing you can do with foil is you can take your dotting tool and just with the really fine point and if you Carve, you can carve little designs into it. And um, this one actually looks like, um, ends up looking like little roses. That's kind of neat. You can scratch some of it away in spots if you don't want it. So you can do kind of a really simple little design um, with it. So for top coating it, Flexi Top Gel will work beautifully, um, Mosaic UV Lac Top Coat will work beautifully, or Mosaic Perfect Top Gel will work beautifully. Um, you'll have no problems. Um, some of the girls also use our Ice Builder Gel and it works beautifully. Um, in class here I'll use Perfect Top Gel because it cures without a dispersion layer and then I don't have to worry about um, dispersion layer and having sticky. A little bit there where I don't want it to be. So there you have like a really simple design with a little bit of foil. Just super simple. Nothing, nothing too crazy. Just showing you how to use it. Okay, so the next one I'm going to do is on gel paint and I'm going to use the regular um, transfer foils and I'm going to use a couple different colors. I'll use, uh, I think this is um, rose, some kind of rose swirl and actually I'll use magenta and colors that you can see the contrast. I'll use these two. So you can use it either right off the roll or you can cut a piece off. So this one I'm just going to do it in spots and it's just a really quick quick press and pull, press and pull, press and pull. So you could leave it like that or you can fill it in with another color. And the only thing you have to remember is see that empty spot where there's no foil? Just make sure you're not pressing that down onto the nail because then You'll just pull off what you've already put down. So you can keep going or you can leave little spots of that pink that's behind and just create different colors on it. So it looks kind of cool when you leave some of the color behind. But just super easy. You just have to press fairly hard and pull. Press and pull off. So there's kind of a, a cool design. If you want, you can um, do a design over top of it. Um, my snow white gel paint and you can go right over top of it if you're a beginner and you're kind of scared to do this right on to the foil because if you make a mistake you can't wipe it um, just put a layer of top coat and then do your your line after that a little bit of a messy there I'm just going to do three very simple little lines on it. Nothing, nothing too crazy. Just some, some lines to show you that you can just do your design right on top of it. So I'll cure that because the lines that are on it and then top coat it. Okay. So this is a metallic and I'm going to show you how it doesn't really stick really well to that. And for that one, I'm gonna try using some black. Some black somewhere. So I'm gonna use some black. 
black foil, just regular foil, and um, some regular gold spectrum. So you'll see how it's not going to quite pull it as well as it pulled it on the other one. And I'm going to try and keep the design on half the nail here as well. So it's not pulling it as well. It'll pull it a little bit, but not as well. But that can be used to create some design as well. So sometimes you want just a little bit of foil, sometimes you want a lot. I'm going to try going over that with, with that. You can see it's not pulling it very well because of the metallic in it. So if you really wanted to put foil over top of that, all you have to do is take some crystal builder gel. And just really carefully go over top of the foil with the crystal builder gel. Do a thin layer of crystal builder gel. Cure it and then it'll pull the foil. Um, one thing I did forget to tell you guys is with regular gel paints or UV lac, let it cool about 20 seconds before you start putting the foil on. Just because it's still warm and it's still kind of doing its thing and it's a little bit um, a little bit slimy. So just let it cool off for about 20 seconds. With foil gel, you don't have to let it um, cool off. As soon as it comes out of uh, your lamp, you can put the um, foil right on it. So... So this one's done. That was the over UV lock. And this one we'll put a top coat over top now. Oops. Top coat. And put that in. I'm going to also show you how you can do it over top of glitter if you want to do foil on a design like that where there's glitter but you want to put foil over top of it. I'll show you how to do that. Glitter brush. So this is diamond royal glitter. It's super, super sparkly. It's very, very fine um, gold leaf oil or a gold leaf in it that makes it incredibly sparkly so hopefully nobody's asking any questions on Facebook because I don't have anybody here to to look at them and and let me know what the questions are so that's our diamond royal glitter So this is the one that had crystal builder gel on it. This one is done. So I'll show you now how the crystal builder gel will pull the foil really easily. And again, let it cool off a bit. So now it sticks like nothing. Crystal builder gel will um, make it stick. If you get too much foil on there like that, you can take your finger and you can actually move it and crackle it. And it'll just move and crackle like that for you. So it's kind of cool. If you get it somewhere where you don't want it, you can either use a stick and just um, scrape it off. Or you can take a little corner of a nail wipe and just really carefully go in there and uh, just wipe it off where you don't want it. So if you make a mistake and your foil's not sticking to a stop, to a spot that you want it to stick in, just uh, a layer of crystal builder gel and it'll stick like crazy. Um, again, it doesn't stick to all builder gels, but it sticks like crazy to crystal builder gel, mosaic crystal builder gel. So, now I'm going to show you how um, the actual foil gel works. And again, the difference between foil gel and regular gel paints is it's thicker. 
and it's stickier. The dispersion layer here is much more sticky. So when you're putting it on, just make sure that you put on a nice even layer so that it's completely black, so that it's not gray. If it's gray, um, you need a little wee bit more. And just make sure it's nice and even. If you're doing a full foil nail like this, um, it's a two minute cure in a standard UV or 45 seconds in LED UV, a 48 watt LED UV. So that goes in for the tail. And let's, so here is my, So if you want to put foil on top of this, it's not going to stick to that very well because it's um, it's bumpy and uneven. So all you have to do is put a layer of clear gel. It doesn't matter what it is. It can be builder gel. It can be top gel. You can have a dispersion layer or not a dispersion layer. Um, I guess if you want to put foil over the whole thing, it has to have a dispersion layer. But if you want to design on it, um, you can wipe the dispersion layer, and I'll just explain that in a little bit as well. Okay, so that goes in my little oven there. That still needs to cure. So, I'm going to show you how to do fine detail with foil. Oh, I was going to show you too this one. Uh, what looks really cool is matte over foil. Those foils were actually um, the shiny turquoise and the shiny magenta. And then we put matte top coat and then I just took a little wee bit of perfect top gel and uh, put a few little spots where they're shiny so you can see a couple of little shiny bits but it actually looks really good cool over foil. So this one I am going to paint with ultra pink because it's a gorgeous color. Light, bright pink. There you go. Is that bright enough for you? Oh. <laughs> super bright. Super, super bright. Love it. And most of our gel paints are one coat coverage. Sometimes you have to go in and add like a tiny little bit of a second coat just to even it out, but most of them are just beautiful one coat coverage. Color. I have it on my toes right now, I think. Oh, did it land right side up? Oh, oh no, it, shoot, you just dropped my, um, ah, yuck. Uh, yeah, as soon as it sees the UV lock or the uh, light, it starts curing. So I had a bit of a skin on there, so I'll just redo it. I'll be more careful next time, put a lid on the lamp. I hope I'm not boring you to tears. <laughs> Say hi to everybody here. Hi. <laughs> it's actually easier when somebody's here and you're talking to somebody instead of talking to yourself or your pretend audience. There you go. Okay. Okay, so I top coated this one with um, perfect top coat. So there's no dispersion layer on here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do. Um, my design with foil gel on here. So this is um, a details brush. I like the details brush. So you have to pick up a fair bit of um, gel paint on your brush. You can kind of see how it's a little bit thicker um, on there. And then you can do your design. And I'm not going to do anything crazy on here. I'm just going to do a couple of swirls so when you are doing um, fine detail with um, foil gel you want your line to have some height to it it doesn't have to be fat um, but it needs to have a little bit of of height to the line. I don't know if you can see 
there, but you see it's got a little bit of height. Um, so it's a little bit of a mountain. Oh, shoot. That's my DHL delivery. Scott! Would you do me a favor? Can you just yell down to the basement? Um, just yell Scott. And, uh, Which one again? Yeah, what, that one right there. Thank you. That would happen. It's my uh, shipment of uh, Mosaic and Swarovskis, and I kind of figured it would come as I'm doing a live video. And DHL never comes when I want them to. So if you're waiting for your Swarovskis, they're here. Okay, so I just did a little design on there. So if you're doing design like this, like a fine detail design, don't cure it for the full two minutes. Um, because you've got less product there, it's going to take less time to cure. Does that make sense? Because mm -hmm. what you want is that dispersion layer. And if you over cure it, you're going to cure it away. Okay, so this is cured gel paint. And what was I going to do on here? Um, I can't remember. <laughs> I think I was going to do some design on there. But um, I kind of forgot about that. Okay, so here is my full black. Um, foil nail and I will just show you um, with the pigment foils um, how you can cover the whole nail and it looks really really cool I'll throw some yellow in there because it's a nice bright color for summer so the pigment foils come in about six colors and the um, ultra thin casting foils come in about 12 so usually when I'm doing um, like different colors of foils, I start with the foil that I want the most of. And just make sure you're pressing um, shiny side up, matte side down, and you're pressing with um, some pigment foil, not an empty spot. So just real little press, press, press. And you can see there a little bit of my fingerprint. Mm -hmm. It's kind of neat. And then I'm going to put a little bit of blue in a few spots. And it's just a real quick press and pull and you can leave it like that that actually looks really cool the mm -hmm. just the blue and um, the yellow looks really cool but I'm gonna add a little bit of white because I want to and you just go over the whole design just again make sure you're pressing with with foil and it will pretty much cover the whole nail and it gives you just a really cool look that um, you do that and people just wonder, how the heck did she do that? Um, this looks real, pigment foils are really, really cool. And then again, um, top coat it with um, Perfect Top, Flexi Top, um, any one of our top gels, and it looks really, really cool. And it'll stay, no problem. Absolutely no problem. Oh, I know what I was going to do on that one. So here, oh, I overcured it. I forgot to bring it out. So we'll see if that's going to um, work. I'm going to use blue on there so that it shows up. It should still be okay, but uh, yeah, I forgot to bring it out. Oh, yeah, it worked perfectly. So I didn't overcure it. Oh, that looks gorgeous. Oh, my God. <gasps> yeah, oh, my God. <laughs> I've never done that combination. <gasps> oh, my God. Can you guys see this? It is gorgeous. Um, yeah, the shiny turquoise over diamond oh my gosh that's cool that's beautiful that's really really beautiful so that's how you can do foil over top of a glitter just put a thin layer of um of gel on so that it smooths out the any bumpiness or anything that might be there and it just goes oh my god that's gorgeous 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 okay so this one's done Perfect top gel is just a one minute cure. That's why I zipped it out of there right away. Okay, so this one I was going to put um, some design on it with foil. So I'll show you how you can do um, something like this where there's like a pattern in it. Um, yeah, this one is a Christmas Christmas design. It's kind of got that, that look. I'll show you with this one. So this is sticky, 
So foil is going to stick to anything sticky, so you have to make it not sticky. If you want, you can just wipe it. Um, so we can just wipe it. So just wipe it. Now I'm actually going to use my white because um, I already showed you how um, black foil gel works for full foil nail and for fine detail. So I'm just going to go back um, where the difference between the foils comes into. The ultra thin casting foil instead of the regular transfer foil when you're doing fine detail, that's where it makes a difference. That blue is the ultra thin casting foil. And how I like to describe it is um, when you have like a really thin chiffon scarf and you drape it over something, it hugs it. If you have a stiff scarf or um, a piece of paper and you drape it over something, it, it doesn't drape, well this one's draping, but it doesn't drape as nicely. Um, the thinner it is, it'll hug all around the foil gel and get it. Um, a lot of times I'll see girls um, posting pictures of um, designs they've done where they've got the foil fine detail and you can see a lot of black still showing. Um, and nine times out of ten, I'd be willing to bet that they're using regular transfer foil on their fine details and it's not grabbing it as nicely. So it's worth the investment, even if you just pick up like a black or a silver to do your um, black or silver lines, it really does make the difference. Okay, so this one I'm gonna, just going to paint a couple of white um, lines and then we're going to foil them. And... a bit on there because I want like a fairly wide line. So one wide line and then I'll do a skinnier line beside it. So I'm going to cure that for one minute. Any questions? What am I doing? Um, I think I covered everything. Um, if you're having problems with stick with it not sticking, um, it could be because you've over cured it. Um, if your gel has shimmer or glitter in it, it won't stick. Um, yeah, I think I've covered pretty much everything. This uh, gold and silver one that I did. But yeah, so so many different things you can do with it. Um, this is a Christmas design, but if you want to do like a flower or something, you can foil it. Um, you can just put foil on one half of the nail. This is really popular at Christmas. Red wine and uh, scarlet foil is gorgeous. Um, yeah, so you can put as little on it as you want or as much as you want. Um, this one was um, just a blondy pink with a little bit of white and gold on it. Uh, just so versatile. This one um, I cut out some or just randomly put the gold and then kind of scraped it away so it's got a little bit of a pattern. Um, yeah, this one is with UV lac. So little spots of foil in between kind of looks like a stone effect. Okay, so this one is cured. So now I'm gonna put um, I think some blue and pink on, blue and yellow to go on there. So just right over top of my my white. And a little bit of yellow on there. I over cured it. So that if that happens again, no worries. Just take a little bit of crystal. My lamp is set for two minutes, so if I forget it, it's over cured. But if that happens to you in the salon, this is how you fix it. Because things always happen in the salon, so you have to know how to fix it. I'm just going to go. 
go back over that with just a little new bit of crystal and put it back in. So yeah, if it's not sticking, it's because you've over cured it. Nine times out of ten, that's that's the problem. Any questions? No. No. Thank you. I'm just gonna finish that one and um I think that'll be it. You know what, maybe what I'll do is I'll just quickly take a peek at my computer and see if anybody has any questions. And then I'll just shut the live thing off and we'll be done. now you can see that the yellow is sticking so that's how I fix my mistake because it's gonna happen in the salon guaranteed and then just pop coat it so that ladies is my little foil gel demo and here I got a little bit of foil so I can on there where I didn't want it so I can just scrape it off there's a wipe thank you guys for watching this was actually kind of fun i might have to do it again um let me know what else you guys can't figure out how to do and i'll see if i can help you um talk to you later have a great weekend bye